Hello everyone, welcome to Cyber Sentinels. In this video, we will see how to install Kerbrut globally for all users in Kali Linux. Kerbrut is a very good tool to perform Kerberos pre-auth brute forcing. Shout out to Rocknob for developing this tool. This tool is much useful for um, useful if you are a pen tester or ethical hacker. Guys, please use this tool only for legally and ethically allowed pen testing, not for breaking into any systems which you are not supposed to. Let's get into it. Uh, go to Google and you can search uh, GitHub Kerbrut. Uh, you, you will see the first link, Rocknob Kerbrut, so go into that. And here you will see in releases uh, version 1.0.3. So here you have multiple options. So whichever uh, option it is related to you, go to it. So I am downloading this uh, file, uh, Kerberot Linux AMD64. It is done. So let's go here. So in this one, uh, you have to change it to you have, you have to change the permission to uh, allow the file to run as a program uh, you can do it by this or you can do it by a, a yeah, terminal so to do that so you go to the particular uh, folder so in this case uh, it is in uh, downloads so cd so move So you see Kerberot Linux uh, MV64. Move Kerberot to uh, which one you want to um, rename it. Kerberot. So as you can see here, it is already renamed. So I am changing the file with the execution mode Kerbrut. so now we have to move this Kerbrut file into local bin move Kerbrut user slash bin so before moving that, uh, I just want to show it is not uh, pre-installed or something. So as you can see, it is not a command, command not found. So after moving this, ah, we have to make a sudo because Now you can check, voila. So this is how you install Kerboot and uh, as well as to uh, use it as a global package for all users. Don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, comment. If you have any request, let me know. We'll make a video out of it. Thank you.